I really liked the way this one was done. It was neat to get some noir. I was a little worried after the intro text that it was going to be bad. It just spelled out Windows Movie Maker, but it actually turned out really good. So this shot here with the jib, at least I think it was a jib, corrects me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is where I was thinking that this was going to be good. If someone bothers to set up a jib, then you know their game. Let's go through the rest of the things I liked about this film, and then we'll get into the things I didn't like. First off, I loved the classic film noir lighting and costumes. We even added the fog in the background, which is just one of those small things that makes a huge difference to the overall production value. So great job with that. Speaking of production value, I love that you shot in a big city and inside this very classic looking building. It added a ton of production value. Way better than just shooting something in the woods or at your house. So again, great job. The production design was excellent in this film as well. Another thing I really liked was your choice of music. You did a great job choosing music that really added to the mood and helped tell your story, which is something a lot of beginners fail to do. Now, onto what I didn't like. Probably the biggest problem I had with the film was the pacing. A lot of the shots felt like they lasted too long. In this shot, with the boom down, it seemed like it lasted too long after the camera stopped moving. It would have flowed better with just trimming off where he puts the paper back in his pocket. Not a big change, just enough to keep the audience more engaged. Very next shot, I had another problem with the pacing, but not so much in lack of cutting. This shot just felt out of place. I felt like it didn't need to be there. If you would cut straight to the next shot where she's dancing and his shadow walks by, and her finishing her song, we would still get the same feel, but it wouldn't drag on so much. Having this extra shot of her singing in there made it feel too slow. Now, I am really just nitpicking. I really like the video, and I'm not trying to critique too much. I'm just trying to help you improve. A bigger problem I had, though, was how the whole thing looked kind of stretched, like you shot anamorphic and didn't de-squeeze it in post. It's not a big problem, and one that would only probably take you about 10 minutes to fix, but something like this just makes it hard to watch. Now, for the last problem I had, and this one is more of an opinion, it seemed to me like instead of leaving me at a cliffhanger, you finished the story too much by letting us hear that gunshot when he looks up at the end. If you had ended here, right when the shadow shows up, it would be a great cliffhanger and would leave us wondering what happened. But with the gunshot, it sort of feels like you ended the story. I'm not 100% sure where you would go to continue the story from here, actually. Now, if you're like me and just got too attached to that shot of him looking up with the building in the background, which was, by the way, great. I really, really liked that shot. You could have cut the shot in right after she starts running down the road, and then it still would have flowed right, and you could have kept that shot. I actually feel like that would have added to that moment more instead of taking away from the other moment. So, all in all, the main problems I had with your film were in the edit. People often say that you write the film three times. Once when you write it, once when you shoot the film, and once when you edit it. So, you may want to work on the third stage some more, 
but overall this was a great film and definitely our winner here. We will be contacting you shortly with your prize, so make sure to check your email. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We make new filmmaking tutorials, camera reviews, and visual effect videos every Monday.